So during my visit to China, I got a chance to visit the M5 Stack office. Those who follow my channel must already be aware about this company and their products. Well, m is a company which makes really interesting and very easy to use IoT boards. And in this video, we're gonna experience how m works. So let's get straight into it. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, LTM is not just another PCB designing software, rather it's a world-class and award-winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto-completion, any angle routing, bus routing, face and length tuning, follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this, they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any components and you would be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that, you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making! So here I reached the destination along with Salman. Now Salman is the co-founder of Makergram India who joined me to experience m Tech and also to record this complete tour. Well now can you guess at which floor the m Tech office was located? Well absolutely yes, it was the 5th floor. So we reach the office and there we get to meet Mr. Allen who is the Director of Sales and Business Development at m Tech and he guided us with the complete tour. So at first we get to see a big m Tech in front of us which they call as M50 as this is 10 times bigger than the original one. Interesting. Then moving ahead we get to see their R&D department. So this area is for our R&D earning part. Okay. So this is for the front end. Okay, and uh, this all this part is the embedded system, the embedded area. Okay, say hi to them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and this is place for the mechanical one, and uh, this area is for the electric hardware. Mechanical means the, the the casing. Yes. The hardware. Uh, yes. The package. Yeah, mechanical for the case and for the all the internal and the external the structure. Okay. The is for the electric, for the okay. hardware, for like PCBA, like for the board, for the DDAM for this one. After okay. the R&D department, we came across their workshop where they do all the initial prototyping and debugging and testing of all the new ideas and new products. And not only the electronics, but also the initial casing is finalized here and they also have a space to paint the product with different colors before finalizing. You, you may have the first prototype, the yeah. first type is the 3D yeah. printer. Right. Sometimes you may need a different color, right. so you need some painting on that. Ah, yeah, okay. See, first but, prototype. For yeah, the first prototype. Yeah, yeah. for first prototype. Only. Right. You can see the different the painting pattern over there. Right, okay. right. So next to the workshop, we were having the CEO's office where we get to meet Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy is uh, actually is the chief designer for all about M5 stack products. Okay. So you can imagine that all the products is from the idea of the Jimmy. Say hi to all the fans from the yeah. M5 fans, the <laughs> India and the global fans. So there Mr. Jimmy showed us the latest thing which he was working on and also he showed the very first product of M5 stack which he made from his home in 2016. I, I have a May several uh, version uh, and also have some modules. Uh, but I am lucky. I have built a company and joined the HES after about one year. One year and yeah. they helped me a lot yeah. to bring our products to the world. And H HES was the investor, right? Yes, yes. Uh, it has China uh -huh. uh, in the Huachan Bay. They helped me the bending, the design, and how to uh, make the marketing. And, uh, and also several version of uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later, I ah, built the first right. order. Yes. Wonderful. So after coming out from the CEO's office, we get to see a whiteboard where they discuss their future projects and plans. So after hearing this, I directly ask, we, uh, So what's the next plan? <laughs> so, uh, 
Uh, I didn't say that. So there, are, <laughs> there are many news. We, you know that we, every week we have a new product released every Friday. Wow. So just a look to the uh, state turn of our news for the next Friday. <laughs> so you may see that. Great. What do we have here? This, this. Oh, this is for the, our finance team that oh. here. Okay. Okay. Then here we get to see a table tennis board which no longer seemed to be used for playing anymore because it was full of M5 stack show board that they took for several Maker Faire recently to show demo. And just near to it, we get to see this TV that was showcasing some interesting data about UI flow. <laughs> Let's hear from Alan directly. So we are just trying to collect so how many people are using that and mm -hmm. how about our users locations. So mm -hmm. this is something like that. So uh, uh, now there are uh, uh, 21 uh, users who is online. Currently? And, yeah, currently. Oh, okay. This is for one day. So one day, one day the quantity. The active the, users, yes, single that, day. That's it. So these are just the uh, uh, device which connecting online already. Mm -hmm. This is the register for mm -hmm. one day register. Mm -hmm. register. Right. And this is for the data and for the code uh, which have to be, be run it on from the server to your device. Right. So uh, this is for success. Uh, this is for connection, device connection. Number of device connected. Yes, this is a connection field. Oh. So we have different area. Uh, so may maybe yesterday there's a big a big users from this Canada. Canada is number one. Just for yesterday, but uh, Japan is always to be one of the best. And this is which device is being yeah, used? Yeah, this is for device. Atom S3 device. is the most used. Yes, that's it. Wow. So we may keep the like the daily data and the weekly data as a monthly data to monitor about how many users was there. But, okay. Just for UI flow, right? Yes, this is only for the UI flow. For UI yeah. flow. Yeah. And uh, I was interested in this. So what's your like, uh, which country is the majority like customer of yours? Which country uses Emphastec more? <laughs> okay. So Japan is our main market here. Oh, so okay. Japan is the first one. Okay. And uh, for UFLO, be the Singapore. Okay. So maybe Japan, Singapore, and what will be the top third? Uh, uh, if you see the users using one five product, we can just arrange for the like Japan, mm -hmm. like actually USA. Okay. Uh, the third one should be the Germany. Oh. So this is three. Japan, one. US, and Germany. That's it. Wonderful. Yeah. What about India? India is still growing. That's okay. Yeah. Here is the our office for the marketing team. For the marketing yeah. team. Yes. So all the people for the here. So the, this is for for the sales team. And this is for the support team and for a project management. Mm -hmm. So after this marketing department, we came to one very interesting wall where they showcased some of their products and they divided them based on the different categories like this one for the sensors and data collection boards. Then we have the main board which is the core board for processing all the data and generating output. Then below it, we have the communication part that contains all the communication boards, maybe Wi-Fi, LoRa, CAN, Ethernet, etc. And the last one is for all the control boards that contains the motor driver, display, relay boards, etc. And on the other side, we were having another board that showcased some of their products, but this time divided based on the product family. And after those product showcase, we move further ahead and now it's time to see the complete production part of m Tech, starting with the production management team. So this is our production managing team that was here and uh, this is for the SOP. You may, you may see that all the products in production that was there. So the uh, green one is something like we have already finished about the SOP. So once, uh, the, what uh, what is SOP? If I ask, uh, SOP is just for the scope of processing, just for. Okay. So all the workers use this SOP that will guide them with everything about the product which they are working on with step by step charts, so they don't miss out any step while shouldering or testing the product. And after that, we reach the factory where M5 Stack products are developed. Okay, and this is the. Uh, yeah, the, this is the, our factory. So maybe we can take a tour from here first. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Wow. So you know that for the master production, like for the PCB and the PCBA, so we're sourcing the PCB outside, we do the mass like the SMT outside. 
Okay, you know that we are a, a innovation company. We right. are a startup. We are a new company. So once we develop something that for the small batch or of samples, we do it ourselves. Okay. So we start from here. Okay. So once we got the PTB, so we do the SMT of okay. our own. Okay, this, this is, is SMT small, assembly yeah, machine. Yeah, this is small SMT machine for the for the quantity like hundred piece or two hundred piece something that we can cover it with our own. Uh -huh. So we start from here. We, we also have a lace cutting lace machine cutting. Yeah, because lace. sometimes we may need to take care of the, some acrylic mm -hmm. uh, material, so we may use mm -hmm. our own lace cutting. Okay. Yeah. This is the production of S3. Yeah. Can I take it? Yeah. yeah. That's only for the sample. Right. So we do something like sample from here, mm -hmm. but for the mass production, right. so we may start from here. PCBA actually we, we get to the PCB from here and mm -hmm. then we do some sorting okay. and for the DIP the components later on these all these uh, PCBA board we just go on to the production part okay then we just uh, get the full process like this so it, it run has like like sticker right like do some uh, uh, assembly and uh, doing doing others like or stack them, stack them on, and then later on we, we also do some testing with cell. You can see that. Yeah, do this whole flow. So this is a complete flow. Yes, that's it. Right. So actually, this is for the mass production. Yeah. So this is the complete production process where they assemble all the parts like casing, stickers, batteries and also do the testing part for mass production and here they got one really interesting machine. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Testing. We, we have a new machine, uh, especially we are using this testing about the Wi-Fi signal, so whether the Wi-Fi signal is uh, okay or not. So this is a new device, we just doing that. To use it, it fair or not, we doing the different can or inside of this one. So inside this you test the Wi-Fi? Yes, we testing the Wi-Fi, the signal trans about that. Signal trans, yeah. oh okay. So you need to test each, each and every feature so of the device? So each button and the each, each display button. and the each like like the microphone, like the sound. Yeah. So each function was testing over here. So everything is just a pro according to our SOP. So every testing was... Okay, so this is, a, this is a procedure you need to follow for testing, right? Yes, yes. Perfect. SOP. And here was one very interesting thing. They were using the M5 products to test the feature of other M5 stack products. Well, here is the demo of that. Oh, okay. So you see that for the our, our products, you, you may use this the standard is the M5 stack core. So we are using it to detect about the IR signal for this machine and the other machine to do the communication. So using the M5 stack to product about M5 stack wow. products. So using your product for testing your products. That's it. And where do you manage the inventory? What's it? What's it? Oh, yeah. oh, so then we, we come to go. So the, actually the whole floor is our company. The whole floor? Yes, the whole floor is our, our company. Wonderful. So for that, that, that part is for the office. Okay, that was the office. Yeah, what we just saw and this for the production. And uh, actually the main part of our company it's about our warehouse and the inventory. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, just a yep. Okay, come in first. Oh, so this is the inventory section. So yeah, all this part is for the inventory section. So this is from the incoming uh, material inspection was here. Okay. So we, we do everything what's checking here. So you, you can take a look first. 
So for the different materials, we may have the different process how to do the ins inspection. Some products we do is like 100% uh, inspection. Some products we just do the sampling production. Yeah, yeah. batch wise. Yes. Okay. And uh, all these areas about our material, you know mm -hmm. that we, we have the casing, we have the plastic. Right. So this is not only the PCB and the components. Correct. You, you see the case would be the uh, occupy a, a, a lot, a lot of, of space. Of, oh, yeah. yeah. So all this part, you can see this are plastic one and the plastic casing. And what about the electronics? Uh, this way? Go this down the way. Ah. This casing requires a lot of space. That's it. So <laughs> you can take a, take a look. Yeah, Clearly. it's complete casing. And they also attach the image so that we can verify what's inside the box. Yeah, our new warehouse and the new office is already near to full already. You can see that it's all <laughs> everything is linear to the ceiling now. <laughs> yeah, you need to get a new one. <laughs> uh, so this is complete electronics inventory, right? Yeah, electronic inside, and That's this is some also accessories. So uh, oh, I want, accessories. Yes, I want to introduce the one machine which may not just for the standard manufacturer someone. So actually, this is like a sticker, sticker, Stick, sticker yeah. machine. So every year we may have more than million pieces of the stickers, mm -hmm. and we have a different style. You know, one of our product maybe have at least two stickers, something like that. Mm -hmm. So what I see is very uh, inefficient. So you ask a subcontractor to mm -hmm. do it supply to you. Mm -hmm. And we, every day we, you know that we need to have a DIY and you need to change everything. And right. We need the new things. Why not we just bought a new one and do it ourselves? We do it ourselves. Wow. Yeah, and this year we do it ourselves. Okay, this year? Yes. So we have an in-house sticker printing machine. That's it. <laughs> So now you know from where those amazing and informative stickers on M5 Tech products come from. And now after having a look over the plastic casing and stickers inventory, let's have a look over to the electronics inventory now. So all this part is for the electronic components like the ICs, like the modules. Uh -huh. So we do everything was here, yeah, to the stock. And uh, we are using some uh, cooling machines for here. Cooling machines for yes. some components. So this is something which I found common in many big warehouses that they were having the cooling machine for specific components which are need to be kept under certain temperature and humidity for the reliable performance. So yeah, this is the whole tool about our factory. So these are the ready stickers, right? Yes, these are different kind of sticker and casing there. We are back in meeting room. Yes. What a wonderful office and factory too. You have everything inside. I, like when I was coming, I was like, it will be just an office, but you have a factory, you have assembly line, you have everything here. What a wonderful space management as well. Thanks. I really like it. Thank you so much for this Thank tour. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. So after this wonderful tour, Estella from M5 Tech team gave me a bag full of M5 Tech products, which includes this t-shirt and all these products. And soon I'll be uploading the getting started video of all these products one by one. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out any of this video. And after that, I gave the Techie SMS merchandise to Mr. Jimmy. And with this, we come to the end of this tour and end of this video. So now please do share your thoughts regarding this video because this is kind of a first ever our proper factory tour video which I ever uploaded onto my YouTube channel. So I want your feedback like what was good, what was missing and do you want more such factory tour videos on our channel or not? Well, do share your thoughts down in the comments of the video and also share this video with your friends who are interested in this IoT field and let them know how M5 Stack Company actually works and yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.